Wikipedia defines a decision support system as an information system that supports business or organizational decision-making activities. DSSs serve the management, operations and planning levels of an organization, usually mid and higher management, and help people make decisions about problems that may be rapidly changing and not easily specified in advance, i.e. unstructured and semi-structured decision problems. Decision support systems are a paradigm shift from ERP and accounting systems, which provide people with stacks of reports about what went wrong yesterday, to decision support systems which provide these same people with the real-time information they need, when they need it, to efficiently do their job without making mistakes. Instead of thinking about what data an IT system can collect and report on, in an operations management decision support system, we think about what information people need and when, to efficiently do their jobs. In manufacturing and industrial distribution organizations, a NARTEC decision support system for operations management performs the following functions. 1. Provides production and materials managers with the real-time status information they need to efficiently run their operations. 2. Assists production managers to schedule materials handlers and equipment operators to ensure customer orders get delivered on time. 3. Assists materials managers to dynamically replan materials purchases and reschedule jobs as new orders arrive and production issues arise. 4. Prevents mistakes by providing timely warnings before mistakes occur. 5. Captures job cost, materials traceability, and manufacturing process performance data for subsequent analysis. It is useful to contrast two simple cases. 1. An inventory tracking system, that can produce reports and screens, showing the quantity of inventory of each part in stock, along with a desired minimum inventory quantity. 2. An industrial operations management decision support system that sends a text or email message to a materials manager when materials need to be reordered, taking into account the inventory in stock, the expected delivery of materials on open purchase orders, and the expected consumption of materials on upcoming jobs. Both types of system, typically use barcode scanning with mobile computers to track materials, but the difference ends there. With a traditional inventory tracking system, a materials manager will have to expend a lot of time figuring out what materials to order. Often this is based on a minimum inventory quantity for each item, which was entered long ago and bears little or no relationship to the current demand for each item. For example, an inventory tracking system may show 16 items in stock, with a minimum inventory level of two items. But, if jobs are due to run next week that need 23 of these items, then the item is out of stock and needs to be reordered immediately. For the materials manager to manually track the required materials for each item in stock, on a daily basis, especially in a make-to-order manufacturing plant, where the demand for specific raw materials parts may vary dramatically from day to day, is an overwhelming task. As a result, we often see those organizations using simple inventory tracking software, or those organizations using their ERP or accounting systems to track their inventory, having excess inventory of some parts and stock outs for others, both at the same time. This problem can be solved by a decision support system, which periodically monitors the physical inventory of each part in stock, and compares it with the quantities needed for upcoming jobs, less any materials already on order from suppliers. Then, instead of the decision support system presenting this information in terms of a report, it can simply send the materials manager a text or email alert, when they need to reorder materials, based on expected lead times, and when those materials are needed for jobs. The alert email can contain details of the materials to be ordered, and, if required, the decision support system can send this order information to the purchasing system, as an unreleased purchase order, ready for the materials manager to make any final changes before releasing the PO to the supplier. As a result, the materials manager does not have to expend large amounts of time figuring out what materials to order and when. But it is important to keep the materials manager involved and not simply to automatically order the required materials. The reason for this is that the materials manager may have general knowledge, which the decision support system, with its specific built-in knowledge, does not. For example, the materials manager may know that he is able to get a lower price by ordering a slightly larger quantity. The manager may also know that the supplier recommended by the decision support system is unable to deliver the required parts as their plant caught fire last night and so forth. This is why we call them decision support systems and not automated decision-making systems. 
The function of a real-time decision support system is to provide the needed information, when and where it is needed, in a format that makes it as easy as possible, for each person to do their job efficiently. An operations management decision support system may have a number of layers. The most important layer, which is always implemented first is the real-time data collection layer, as without accurate real-time information about the status of jobs and materials and projects, making accurate operational decisions is not possible. This data collection layer may be integrated with shop floor equipment, such as weighing scales, barcode labeling equipment, and process control equipment. It may also be integrated with data from ERP and accounting systems, as well as CRM, CAD, and e-commerce systems. This data is collected in near real-time, into a real-time operations management databank, which contains an accurate real-time view of the status of customer orders, purchase orders, jobs, materials and projects at all locations, throughout the organization. This databank, also collects operational history data, including the materials traceability history of what materials went into each job, what materials were shipped to which customers, and when they were shipped, as well as the cost of each job, and lots of other operational performance data, such as rework and scrap. This databank, can be used to provide an integrated, real-time view, of operations to managers and other employees, wherever and whenever they need it, over the internet. It can be used to feed data to other systems, which need this data, and can also be used as the basis for business intelligence reporting. This information can then be used to advise materials managers as to what materials need to be ordered and made. It can also be used for dynamically scheduling jobs to help ensure that customer orders get delivered on time. Finally, changes in the databank can be monitored by intelligent agents, within the decision support system, to generate alerts, by text message or email, for managers and other employees, when they need to take some action. A decision support system, for industrial operations management, does not exist on a standalone basis, except in very simple circumstances. Typically, a decision support system automatically exchanges information with a number of other systems, such as those shown here, as well as sending alerts and warnings to managers, when there are events that they need to pay attention to. This is to ensure that people have the information, which they need to make decisions, appear automatically, in the systems they use on a regular basis as their primary source of information. In this way, when they receive a text or email alert message, they do not have to go looking for the backup information they need, in a variety of systems. The decision support system can help assure that they are presented with just the information they need to quickly make critical decisions and are not overwhelmed with extraneous data. A decision support system can also prepare data to be sent to other systems, pending approval by the manager, or even send the data to the other system in an unreleased state, pending approval, which can further save the time of operations managers and their staff and prevent mistakes. Thank you for watching our video about operations management, decision support systems, and their application in manufacturing and industrial distribution.